Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today and today we are back and we're going to be doing a full set unboxing for the Funko Pops of the brand new Marvel movie Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Now as you can tell by my shirt uh, and the pops that we're getting today we have been very very happy for this movie. We actually did already see it. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. I think top tier Marvel for sure. Not sure where it lands in my rankings. I'm going to have to watch it again and maybe for a third time and really stew on it. But I definitely think it's one of the best, if not the best, origin story in a Marvel movie told yet. So it's definitely a really, really awesome movie. I definitely recommend it. And we'll talk a little bit as we go along about what we think about the movie, especially about the certain characters. Not trying to give away any spoilers, but I will talk a little bit about the characters and their impact in the movie and what I thought about them in the movie. And then of course, how we think about the pops. But up front, definitely recommend Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Definitely an awesome movie. Uh, I was definitely blown away. I had big expectations for it, but they blew all the expectations away and even some surprises in the movie too uh, to really tie it into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I definitely think it was a home run for sure. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go through all nine Funko Pops that they put out for this line. Actually, no, we're going to put out all, it's going to be 10 actually, all 10 Funko Pops that they have for this line. And we're going to show them all off today. Uh, but before we get into it, make sure you guys go down below, hit that subscribe button, go ahead and leave a like on the video as well. Helps us out a lot and we very much appreciate it. All right, so we're going to start rolling through all 10 of these pops in no necessarily particular order. But of course, we do have to start with the titular character. And we're going to start with Shang-Chi himself. And this is of Shang-Chi uh, doing a little kick. This is definitely a cool pop. I like the detail they put into this one, especially with the suit. Definitely great looking right out of the movie. I love the pattern and the design, and I like how he gets it in the movie. It's a really good touch. Uh, but in this, he's kind of doing a kick off to the side, so he has that water coming off the end. I believe this would probably be from more towards one of the battles at the end, toward the back end of the movie. So definitely a cool moment in the film. And there is a second Shang-Chi pop as well. And this one is Shang-Chi just kind of in a fighting stance. Shang-Chi looks to be walking up. He has his right hand made into a fall into a fist. And in his left hand, he has the uh, sticker baton there in his left hand. And those are definitely really cool. The way that they actually build that into the story and that that stick has the purpose there. I think that was really cool. Uh, but similar outfit. As this last pop just a little bit of a different stance now these two aren't too far off from each other as far as the way that the molds are especially with the head uh, but just give the lower half of the body with him doing the kick so you know you can see that the head is a set exactly exactly the same so that's a little uh, little you know it's a point to see but it's they're still really cool characters and now Shang Chi's best friend in the movie is Katie and she is our next Funko Pop and we're actually going to be first taking a look at the Target exclusive Katie. So you can see Katie wearing this outfit during the trailer for Shang-Chi and so this is when that scene when they're on the bus they show in the trailer so I definitely like the outfit a lot and it definitely looks like Aquafina for sure and she is holding a fire extinguisher in her hand because she does use that in that little bus battle. Now just like Shang-Chi, Katie does get an upgrade in her wardrobe uh, toward you know what one point of the movie and this is the other version of Katie. Now I don't want to go too far into how she gets this dress but she does have this dress and she does indeed sport that bow and arrow which is definitely cool. I like how they had the hair look different in this pop than they did with the other one. A little bit of a different mold so it's cool to see that variation. Now one of the best parts of the entire movie was this guy, Wenwu, who was otherwise known as the Mandarin. And they actually did dive into it, what happened from the fallout of Iron Man 3 and after when they had a short film called Hail to the King. Uh, they kind of discussed that in the film, the impacts of that. But 
Uh, so he's not called the Mandarin. His name is Wenwu. That's his actual Chinese name. And he is such a cool character played by Tony Leung absolutely perfectly. So this is Wenwu currently in the present day as he is in the movie because they do talk about it in the trailer as well that he is a thousand years old. So as you can see, they actually do have the little creases on him uh, with it looks like it's wrinkles around his eyes and on his on his cheeks to make it look like he is that older Wenwu. But I absolutely love the suit there and you can see on his arms he has the rings. Those are the 10 rings that he uses to fight for his power. They are absolutely sick the way they use in the movie. And I just love the design of his outfit. And you see the detail, kind of the tiles with the, with the Chinese letterings on there too. Definitely super cool. And there is a second version of Wenwu. And this is actually of a younger Wenwu. Uh, so earlier in the movie, they, well, they do show kind of flashbacks, and so this is of an earlier Wenwu, uh, but he does still have the Ten Rings, because like we said, he is a thousand years old, so he doesn't look too far off from the other one. So in this pop, instead, they do have him in a white suit, uh, and then in, he does have those Ten Rings on his arms as well. He still looks a little bit older, but it's mostly the difference is that instead of him being in a fighting pose, he's more just kind of nonchalantly standing uh, and with that white suit on. Now, one of the things I really loved about this movie was that it was about family and the struggles that you have, you know, with family when, uh, you know, your parents, you know, don't necessarily fall in line with what you need to do or you don't have the approval of your parents, you know, in that kind of broken family type of dynamic. Uh, and definitely the key of that was the story of Shang-Chi's mother and Wen Wu's wife. And this is her, Jing Li. Uh, she definitely has a big part in the movie. Now the way that she looks here in the pop, we do see that early on. It's definitely a really cool design. And they have a great little battle of her showing it off. And this pop has such crazy detail, especially with that mask. It looks so cool, kind of looks like the sharper teeth and the mask that goes around, definitely awesome. And with that hat, kind of bringing in the uh, kind of nature, the green and the red. And you see that there's that little dragon on the top, uh, coming out the top of the hat. So that's a cool little touch uh, that really brings that movie full circle. And she is jumping in the air. And so this is during a little fight that she had towards the beginning of the movie definitely cool to see it in action and there is one more member of this family here and it is shang chi's sister who is absolutely badass in this movie i believe it is called pronounced uh chingling chi chilling i believe it's what how it's pronounced i might be wrong correct me down below if i am wrong with that uh but definitely an awesome character so she's essentially just as good of a fighter as Shang-Chi or anyone else in the movie. And she has that rope in her hand with the arrow on the end of it that she's able to whip around as a weapon. I believe they showed that part in the trailer too, how she's using those weapons. So definitely really cool. And this is her in her little upgraded outfit as well. Definitely awesome. And I always, I really liked her hair, the way they had that. And so they definitely capture it with those bangs in the front but definitely capture that she is a badass character and our ninth pop from this line is one of Wenwu's right hand men it is Razor Fist from the Ten Rings and he is a part of the Ten Rings clan so you did see him in the trailer when he was doing a little fight with Shang-Chi on the bus definitely menacing and he's actually played by the same actor that played uh who was in creed 2 the main antagonist in creed 2 and i really liked him in that and it was cool to see him pop up in this but he has that giant knife that is on his right arm and he is a big brooding man with that big beard uh he is definitely a strong intimidating presence in the movie and just like that in the pop too now and i do have one other pop and i actually uh did already review it uh, a separate video, so I won't show it off entirely. But here we have right here above us, we have the Death Dealer 
who is really cool. He is a GameStop exclusive. So if you do want a closer look at that one, go ahead and check out my previous video. Uh, that was, but that's definitely one of my favorite pops with the detail. So that's it for all of our four inch pops, but we're not done because we do have to bring out the big guns. And here he is, the great protector. And this is a giant six inch pop and it is filled with tons of detail. And when he does show up in the movie, he has just as much detail there. But this guy is definitely big. He is a bobblehead, so he, he kind of bobbles around, which is pretty cool too. But I love the colors, the white and the red. You can see the scales leading up all around, even when it comes down to his little fingers there. And then the Great Protector is on the water, so he's kind of serp serpenting back and forth on the water. Definitely a really cool pop and one of my favorite parts of the movie when he's in it for sure. So there's our look at the entire Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings Funko Pop set. We got a lot of pops in this line. And we were able to pick up all of them and I'm super excited about it because I loved this movie. This movie is going to be a smash hit. I uh, cannot wait for you guys to all see it uh, if you have not already. Because it's definitely well worth your time. Go see it in the theaters if you can. Uh, but I do want to hear from you guys what you think about these Funko Pops here. Were you guys able to pick up any of these Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings Funko Pops? And what do you think of them? Which of these is your favorite from the set? And also, of course, let me know if you saw the movie and what you thought about it. You know my thoughts. Definitely recommend it. Uh, one of the best movies of the year so far, in my opinion, and one of the best Marvel movies, especially when it comes to origins, uh, in my opinion, too. So definitely go ahead and check that out. But I do want to hear your thoughts about it in the comments down below. And of course, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and leave a like on the video. It helps us out a lot. We very much appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.